Daniel here in Tech Studio. This is probably my most requested video so far. Sony's new neckband headphone headphones speakers. The Sony SRS NS7. Incredible sound quality, but could it be too niche for you? Let's get into it. So I've actually reviewed another brand of these type of neckband speakers. So check that out below the like button. So this thing is $300, although it's been on sale for 200 for a few weeks and you can choose to pay in five payments. And in the Sony SRS NS7, we have 12 hours of battery. So nearly a whole day of binge watch watching, binge watching. Plus it has quick charging. So 10 minutes of charge gives you an hour of listening time. So it comes with a Bluetooth adapter to connect to your TV wirelessly. This Bluetooth adapter connects only through a provided optical cable and can only connect to these speakers, which is whack microphones for calls. And it works really well for meetings. IPX4 splash resistance, so your Kool-Aid spill won't ruin it. And starting in January 2022, this month, you'll be able to pair without the dongle with your Sony Bravia XR TV, which I don't have a Sony TV unless Sony wants to send me one. <laughs> Hit me up, please. As for the design, I think it's great. The fabric is a really nice touch. I'm hoping that the fabric will hold up over time, but we'll see. Uh, it's not as flexible as I expected. It's pretty rigid, which is fine. Uh, but when I sit on my sofa, I find it sliding off behind me quite often. feels like a lot of the weight is at the top or the back of it and not the bottom. I actually end up just putting it in my shirt like a weirdo like this. Hold on. Let me see. Oh God. Probably not with this hoodie. Actually, I just end up putting it in my, sh my hoodie or my shirt. It's kind of weird, but Hey, it works. Okay. So here's how you set up your Sony SRS NS7 to your TV. So like I said before, your TV must have an optical output. If it doesn't have that, it's not going to work unless it is after January, 2022, and you have a Sony Bravia XR TV, then you can connect through Bluetooth, but okay. So plug in your adapter through USB-C to power it, then plug in your provided optical cable to your TV. Now go into pairing mode on your speakers by holding down the power button until it says pairing mode or whatever it says. Then you press the top button on the adapter and it should be connected. Now, if it's working for you and you hear the TV audio, then great. But if there's no sound, here's what you can try. Now, these instructions are for a Samsung TV. This may not be the same process, but the end goal is the same. Okay, so something I missed when I set this up, you need to go into your sound settings and change the output to audio slash optical if it's not on there already. And you need to change the audio quality from Dolby Digital to PCM. Remember those three letters, PCM. It's gotta be on PCM. It might be on some other setting that's not Dolby. Just change it to PCM. Dolby Digital is incompatible with Bluetooth because Bluetooth signal only supports two channels and Dolby is five channels. So Bluetooth simply does not have the bandwidth for that much data transfer. So make sure you do that. Okay, we made it. <laughs> How does it sound? It's incredible. It's absolutely life changing. Like, I, I don't know how they did it, but they found a way to deliver sound straight into your ears without wearing headphones. It's something you got to experience for yourself to understand. It's, it's really hard to, to, to tell you what it's like. You got to experience it. So it feels like I'm watching TV normally at a normal volume with home theater quality, but I'm just sitting there smiling like an idiot at a muted TV. This thing is probably actually too good. What do I mean by that? You ever see a TV that's so high resolution that everything just looks fake. Everything just looks like a novella for some reason. This is the sound equivalent of that. 
the sound quality is the clearest of like of anything I've ever heard. I've been I've been watching The Matrix lately, right? And it feels like I'm in the studio with the sound engineers as they're mixing the movie. I hear every single foley and sound effect to the point where it takes me out of the movie because they are, it just because it sounds fake. I mean, it is fake, obviously, but now I'm aware that it's fake and now I'm thinking how much a foley artist's salary is. It's like, hmm, is that something I could do? That sounds fun. I could do that. Every whip and smack and punch is so damn clear. It feels like it doesn't fit the movie. More, more like it doesn't fit the screen I'm watching it on, I guess. I need to upgrade my TV one day. Again, something you have to experience for yourself to truly grasp how good this thing is. Now for music, music isn't great, but that's not really what this thing is for. This is made to supplement your home theater for when it's not appropriate to use your home theater. The only music you should listen to on these things is classical or like cinematic scores. It's literally life changing. Anything, any other genre than that is, eh, it's not going to sound that great. And that's not really what it's made. One more thing. If you do get these, because this is, you know, a surround sound speaker, go on YouTube and search for surround sound videos and try them with these. It is quite an experience hearing all the sound go all around you for gaming forget oh my god this thing slaps okay i spit a little bit because it slaps it's so good but that's actually gonna be another video about these speakers using it for gaming i got a lot to say so that's gonna be another video so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video especially that one you're gonna want to you're gonna want to hear that is it worth it? Okay, so I just went on and on and on about how this is life changing. Uh, surprisingly, this is both really hard to recommend and really easy to recommend. For the average person, this probably isn't very useful. This is one of the most niche devices I've ever had. You need to fall into a few use cases before this actually becomes useful. Number one, I live in an apartment, so I can't use the amazing sound system I have or I'll get a noise complaint. So with my current life setup, I kind of require a product like this. And next use case is I can afford <laughs> a niche product like this. My entire home theater system was 250 bucks. The Sony HT-S350. It's amazing. Okay. This is $300. <laughs> full price this is not cheap at all and it doesn't make a lot of financial sense and the last use case is i just think it's neat <laughs> i like it again it's niche no one needs this you don't need this to watch tv but i'm so glad that i do have it my only gripe my only gripe which may only be an issue for me and my crappy samsung tv but if these are connected to the tv no one else will hear the TV. That and the dongle only connects to these speakers. You can't connect any other speakers to that dongle. Kind of selfish and, uh, you know, unusable if you live with other people. So if you want to let other people hear the TV too, <laughs> then you got to get another speaker or a separate optical cable splitter or a dongle that lets you connect more than one Bluetooth device. But that's literally the only thing. Everything else is incredible. So this is absolutely a much earned five out of five chilies burning bum hole spicy. As long as you fall under the use cases where this is actually useful to you and this fits into your niche. This isn't really, ah, God, it's so hard. It's something I can't really recommend to everyone because it's so expensive, but I want to recommend it to everyone because it's so amazing. You know what I mean? So do with that what you will so there's a lot to say about this thing so much that i'm making another one or two videos one of them dedicated to just gaming because this is truly life-changing so stay tuned for that very soon thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one peace